In today's video, I'm going to show you three methods you can start making money with online with zero upfront capital. So be sure that you stay tuned. What's going on, guys? Bashar Ketu here, Amazon FBS seller from beautiful San Diego. Thank you very much for tuning in for this video. If it is your first time to my channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure that you stick around until the end as I am going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. In today's video, as I explained earlier, I am going to be sharing with you guys three methods you can use to make money online today with zero upfront capital. Now, I know that many of you guys might be skeptical thinking, well, that doesn't even exist. You know, that's not even possible. Is this another video that's just, you know, a clickbait and you're just trying to drag me on to watch you know, stay on your channel for as long as possible. No, this is actually really true. And I have made money using all those three methods, so be sure that you stick around until the end. Now, you do have to understand that some work is involved with any of those methods, with actually all of them. And in fact, with anything you really do, I understand that a lot of you guys are looking for passive income ways of making passive income. But honestly, unless you have investments like stocks, bonds, real estate, things like that. There isn't anything that's 100%, you know, passive. Even then, you know, you still have to check up on it. You still have to kind of visit it and see how it's doing. But when it comes to online, um, unless you have, you know, VAs managing your, your, your businesses, you know, it's not 100% passive because even if you do have someone managing your business, you do have to follow up on it. So it's definitely a lot easier than a traditional nine to five or if you're going to go and let's say if you're just out of school or if you're in school and you're just looking for ways to make you money passively online um, or, you know, you just simply don't want to go and do the traditional route of working in a nine to five or working at a fast food restaurant or something like that. This is absolutely awesome ways for you to make several thousand dollars per month doing those three methods with zero upfront capital. Now, method number one is simply becoming a freelancer. You may wonder, well, what do you exactly mean? What I exactly mean is creating gigs and posting gigs on websites like Fiverr.com, you know, free up Upwork. Now, free up and Upwork are a little bit harder to get into, but a website like Fiverr.com, it's a lot simpler. Now, you may wonder, well, don't I need a skill? Yes, you do need a skill. Now, you do have to think about, number one, what is it that you know? Do you know how to do Photoshop? Do you know how to do video editing? You know, Do you know how to make logos? Do you know how to maybe you're really great at storytelling? Maybe you know how to do click funnels, Facebook ads, all these different things. Now, if you don't have any of those, you know, if you don't possess any of those uh, skills, that's okay too because what you can do, you can actually post gigs, right? And before you do that, you find a couple cheaper guys that will do some type of jobs for a little bit cheaper. So let's say you can find someone that does good, you know, uh, logos for like five or ten dollars. And I've done that for my FBA business, for my other businesses. Or you can find someone that does, you know, uh, uh, click funnels like sales funnels that creates designs that creates like that does like simple photoshopping and things like that, and that charges five to ten dollars and it's typically not the people that are at the top it's typically those that are kind of towards the bottom that don't have reviews things like that they're going to try to charge a little cheaper so they can make them their ways up to the top and simply what you do is you post a gig more expensive than theirs and what you do is you're pretty much flipping so someone hires you for let's say 25 dollars to do a job you go and hire someone for ten dollars you pay them ten dollars you get the job, you post it to this person, and simply you collect the remaining. So all you're doing is you're becoming the middleman, right? And that's, you know, that's a, a way, like, that, that, that's literally a, a method of making money that goes back to hundreds of years. People use it with cars. People use it with houses. People use it with everything, you know, just being kind of the broker. But the customer doesn't know that you're not doing the job. The customer doesn't care who's doing the job as long as you are doing the job. You can even do product research for Amazon FBA, like I'm an Amazon seller. You can charge people $200 and find someone for $100 to get you three product ideas. Or you can do product research yourself. That's also something that is available for you that you can do as well if you know how to do product research. Now, method number two is simply 
charging people $500 to $5,000 per month for simply managing their social media accounts. I personally suggest that you go out to your local community and you find people that simply, you know, that are, uh, uh, that have traditional business, like a, a takeout, you know, local takeout pizzeria, maybe like a, a dry cleaning or some like a moms and pops shops in your local area and try to convince them to pay you $500 to $5,000 depending on the job and put them on a retainer. And that's consistent monthly income that's coming into you to simply manage their online presence. A lot of traditional businesses are not online. They're not on social media and we both know the power of social media. And I am pretty sure that if you are here on YouTube, if you live on YouTube and you're watching my videos and you're watching other videos, you know how to create posts, you know how to gain followers on Instagram, you know how to add people on Facebook, you know how to put a simple Facebook or Instagram page together and simply what you would do is you would, you know, manage just Facebook, Instagram. Don't go too crazy, right? Or maybe even Twitter. And what you would do is create posts that are relatable on Instagram, you know, follow people using hashtags, like comments, uh, uh, like and comment on people that will follow you, uh, message, you know, DM people that will follow you, provide service, provide content, you know, provide value and try to get this customer or this uh, client of yours some leads. And the same thing with Facebook, uh, um, same thing on Facebook. And actually I did explain or I have a video tutorial on how I am able to, um, you know, run my consulting business simply using Facebook uh, groups. And you can do the same thing for any business. Join a bunch of groups that are related to whatever topic it is, whatever the business is, and start promoting in there, adding people, driving them to your to their website, to their you know to their local area. Let's say I live in San Diego. And if I'm doing that for local, uh, um, you know, for local businesses, what I can do is that I can actually go on uh, websites or on Facebook groups that are like, uh, there's like a San Diego classified or, you know, like that, like local um, groups, Facebook groups that, you know, people can post in them trying to sell something or, or simply doing, you know, promoting for other local businesses. Now, the third and the final way is simply flipping products on Amazon. Now you're going to ask, well, is this like kind of like drop shipping? Is it like arbitrage? Yes, it is. But you're not going to do it on Shopify. You're not going to do it on any other websites. You're going to do it on Amazon. Now you may ask why Amazon? Because it's a lot easier and faster for you to start generating revenue than if you were to do, you know, to create a, a, a Shopify store or whatnot. Because you have to purchase Shopify. You have to create a store, design it, all that, and drive traffic to it. With, that's just too much time, energy, and you need also money to drive traffic. With Amazon, Amazon already brings in 53% of the, uh, um, you know, of the traffic. All you literally have to do is find the right product that sells well. And what you do is you can simply go on websites like target.com, walmart.com, all these websites and find products there that sell for cheaper than what they sell on Amazon. Simply what you do is you list these products on Amazon, right? And that does not need to cost you anything. You can open an individual account on Amazon that's not going to cost you anything. And then you don't even have to purchase the product until someone orders it. So when someone orders your product, then you go and purchase the product from that website and you get to ship directly to your customer. Another thing is buying from Craigslist and selling on Amazon, buying from OfferUp and selling on Amazon, from the dollar store and selling on Amazon. You can also flip things from the thrift store or also garage sales. And I know Gary Vee is very big on flipping. So there is a very big, you know, uh, uh, market for you to flip products. And you can literally, yes, this might need a little bit of money, but you can also do drop shipping where you're buying, you're not, you know, like you go to AliExpress and drop ship the same thing you would if you were doing Shopify drop shipping. But instead of buying, you know, in bulk or instead of creating a Shopify store and driving traffic to it, you're gonna sell it on Amazon and Amazon already brings traffic to you. All you just do is find the right product and then just put it in front of the right customers. So guys, this is it for today's video. I truly hope that you guys enjoyed this content. If there is anything you, that you guys want me to cover in future videos, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you found this video helpful, 
please consider subscribing to my channel if this is your first time. Also give this uh, video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Now as promised, I said that I was going to give you guys a giveaway, so what you need to do is locate the first link in the description and get, that's going to be to a script that I personally use when contacting suppliers um, for my private label product. So should you want to source products to sell on Amazon, this script will not only present you as a seven-figure business to your suppliers, but will also guarantee you getting the best prices and for the lowest amount of quality uh, of units so that way you can launch more products on Amazon and also you can you know keep your risk and your upfront capital very minimal so guys once again Bashar Ketu here thank you very much for tuning in for this video I will see you guys in the next video have a great day and take care